Hey Gateway, welcome to our weekly update. Glad you guys have joined us today. Um, don't get a chance to do this with Kim, just a whole lot, but I'm grateful to have her doing the update with me today. This is about our 10th take, yeah. <laughs> but uh, we're glad to be able to catch you up on some things. Hey, first of all, I've been getting some questions about Wednesday night grow groups for the fall semester. And uh, we are not gonna have uh, regular Wednesday night grow groups in the fall. And one of the reasons for that is that we are really focused on restarting our regular Sunday Yay. schedule. And so uh, that will mean classes for everybody and back to our old times and those kind of things. And so uh, that's going to be happening in the coming weeks. And uh, if you are a part of our Next Steps team or you're mm -hmm. one of our leaders, you're going to be getting very soon some specific instructions on how we're going to be transitioning to that. Yeah. So that's really a, a very exciting thing. We are watching the school system closely and uh, we're monitoring mm -hmm. COVID numbers, of course, and uh, as we move back toward uh, that exciting day. I um, also wanted to just say to you guys, I hope that you've been enjoying the sermon series at both of our Definitely. campuses, whether it's yeah. at uh, Atoka or whether it's over at Munford. Um, I know the Lord is working through His Word, and here at Atoka, we've mm -hmm. been in an isolated series. Yeah. I really enjoyed going through the mm -hmm. Gospels and just looking at Jesus' interaction with people Definitely. and uh, just His compassion toward them. And then Jason at Munford has been going through Marks of the Maker and how uh, how like an artist signs his work. So uh, we see the Lord in us. We see his characteristics signed in our lives. And so uh, hope you're enjoying uh, the word and growing through that right now. I would also mention to you this fall, we are planning to do another Fort Tipton Day, oh, which is exciting. And Definitely. so we'll be looking at ways um, to impact our community through practical things that we can do. So uh, keep that in mind. You know, when you turn on the news these days, we were talking a while ago, it's just so negative. So many times it's just really discouraging. So we wanted to do something a little different and encourage you to share something positive, um, some encouraging news, something that God is doing in your life or your family. And I'd like to start out. One of the things I'd like to share with you is that Mother's Day Out is about to start back. And we're sure. super excited. Um, I know there's a lot of excited moms that are ready to, to have their kids loved on, and there's mm -hmm. a lot of teachers that have really missed loving on kids and teaching kids. Yeah. Well, you know, we as believers, we, we know that God's on his throne, right? We mm -hmm. know that, that in the midst of the bad news, uh, that, he's, that he's got it, that everything is okay, and yet uh, watching all the bad news, it can be uh, discouraging. You know, yes. Proverbs twenty five twenty five says, you know, that a word of good news is like a cold drink of water. Ah. Uh, Yes. And uh, here you go. And so, uh, so we want to give you a chance to join in with us to share. We've shared our good news, so you share your good news now. You can post down below what good is happening in your life yeah. right now. What's going on? What good things have you seen? What positive uh, stories can you share with us? Yeah. And uh, let's see if we can turn this around a little bit. So uh, we love you guys. Thanks love for joining us today, and we'll see you soon. Bye.